Okay, after understanding critical region and the needs and the requirements for the critical region, the next thing is obvious to understand how your operating system is going to handle the critical region. Well, with reference to operating system, we have two major options to go through. One of the option to go through in terms of critical region is software approach. And obvious, the other one is called hardware approach. In terms of software approach, we would be using various algorithms purely on basis of software. Whereas in hardware, specially created hardware would be used for achieving critical region. For the example, in terms of software, we would be using algorithms like Decker's algorithm, which initially started mutual exclusion concept, had some drawback, which was covered by Peterson solution. It also had certain limitation. We shifted with that to the hardware section where locks were created and then the most successful way of working semaphores. So together when it comes to handling of critical region by the operating system, it basically has two major ways. The software approach, which will use certain algorithms, a kind of platform independent data or a platform independent solution that does not even require some extra added hardware. Another option is working with the hardware itself, which uses specially developed components, which can be used for achieving mutual exclusion. Working with the hardware does make it simple and fast, but also increases the cost. Working with the software makes it cheap but in some case has a performance overhead because we are dealing with the same operating system to be used for achieving something beyond what it is capable of. So basically two approaches, hardware and software. We'll see each one in detail, starting with Decker's, then Peterson's algorithm, then going through locks and then finally handling things with the SIGMA 4 one after another.